Hey guys! So tonight, I am going to be sharing with you guys my nighttime skincare routine. Let's get started! Okay, I already took a shower and I already removed all my makeup. So it is gone. Using this collagen makeup remover cleansing wipes. This actually just, I really love this. This just works for me. You can just buy it at Watson. And then I'm going to be washing my face using Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. If you know me, you know that I've been using this for years and years. This just works for my skin. I've tried other cleansers, but I always end up going back to this one because I have very, very sensitive skin and I tend to get red easily. This just helps calm down my skin. I'm going to be washing my face right now. I'm sorry I cannot film there because the lighting is kind of bad, so I'll be back. Okay, so now that we've wiped their face, and it's really clean. Oh, a tip that I can give you guys is I never ever wipe my face using a towel. I always use facial tissue because you know how you tend to leave your towels like everywhere or anywhere. And I mean, I just feel like a lot of germs just go in there. So facial tissue is the way to go because it's just super clean. And I've noticed like, when I switch to facial tissue, I don't break out anymore. I mean, I don't break out as much. So this is it. So now I am going to be, I'm going to be putting ice on my face. I do this to help close all my pores. This just really helps. This just really works for me. Oh, it, it actually feels so good on the face because you know how hot like the weather is now, especially if if you guys are from Ilocosur, oh my god. Like the heat here is on a different level. I noticed like every time I do this, every time I started icing my face, my pores just got smaller. Um, I'm actually going to be answering questions because I asked on my Instagram story and Facebook. And you guys did, so thank you so much. And I actually got that question. Um, oh, I super love this girl. Uh, she said, how can you have no pores at all? Actually, I do have pores, but Ice and a really amazing dermatologist, shout out Dr. Ken. He's like the best. I do laser treatments and I think that really helps with my skin as well. So I'm gonna be answering the questions after I put all the skincare stuff. After that, okay, I usually moisturize. I use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. I use this when I have dry skin, but when I'm a bit on the oily side, I would use the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So we are gonna use this tonight because uh, it's so hot and I've just noticed that my skin is so oily nowadays. So I'm just gonna rub that all over my face. And after that, after we put the moisturizer, I usually put this when I have breakouts. It's the Azelaic Acid Skinnerin. I buy this at People Clinic. If you're from Ilocosur, you know what that clinic is. It's just, this actually just really works for me when I have, sorry, what's that? It's moisturizer. Okay, so when I have breakouts, I would use this and it would just dry up. Like it would just like make my pimples go away and just make it dry like really fast. And I would use this like when it's near my period as well, just like to prevent it, this works. But since like today we don't have like breakouts, we're not gonna use that. I am going to be putting Sarah V Eye Repair Cream. I super love this. It just really helps depuff your eyes. I just put it there. Put a little bit more. Just helps to you know get rid of dark circles and the puffiness. Just, it makes it go away. Okay. And then after that, that's about it. Oh. Okay, when I have a pimple, if this doesn't work, I would usually use this. It's the Oxicure Acne Clear Powder Mud. This, this is like a secret weapon. When you have like one of those cystic acne, I would put this and the next day or probably like two days after my, my, my pimple would dry up. So this works. But since it tends to make your skin really dry, I would put the set of little moisturizing lotion right after it. And that is it for my skincare. Now I'm going to be answering the questions I asked on my story. How many times do you reapply sunscreen in a day? I would usually just put a tinted sunscreen 
in the morning and then because i use um sunblock capsule and it depends on the weather if it's super hot i would take one in the morning and then i would take another one in the afternoon what to avoid doing to the skin don't rub your skin i always tell my sister that don't don't rub your skin it's just I just feel like it's gonna make you age faster and not unless you have super clean hands even my son i don't let him touch my face not unless i know his hands is really clean what you don't eat because it makes your skin bad i try to avoid well not avoid i do i love because i like chocolate i like the taste of it so i just don't eat a lot of it because i notice if i eat too much my skin just uh-uh it just tends to break out, so I try to avoid that. Well, not avoid, I mean, I just eat less of it. Share your diet and workout routines. I try to eat healthy. I eat really healthy. Like what I've said, I am a pescatarian and I eat a lot of vegetables. I drink a lot of water. But the thing is, I don't work out. The only <laughs> workout um, I get is probably when I'm just at home is probably because we have a stairs. That's a good thing about having stairs at home is I just usually just go up and down. There was a time like my sister counted it probably like 30 times I just go up and down. So that's like my cardio for the day. Two makeup products you can't live without. I cannot live without concealer and lipstick because I feel like those two products, I don't know. I feel like they're just good to go. How do you de-stress? I listen to Post Malone and <laughs> his song like right now the chemical i love that song it just really helps but aside from listening to really good music the derma i love going to the derma it's, it just has a way of calming me down when i'm there i just feel like i can think better and i just i don't know i love it i love it there watch a movie on netflix that's what travis and i would usually do we would just binge watch our favorite series what do you use in the morning okay i have i use different products in the morning too so if you guys want a morning skincare routine let me know on the comments so i will do that for you and yeah so what else what are the questions do we have what gave you the motivation to start your youtube channel uh family and friends they just always pushed me to do this and i feel like you know um they always said oh you could be a vlogger like i think it would suit you and i just tried taking a video of myself there was just a time that i just tried, started like taking videos of myself and i kind of realized oh this is actually fun and it's nice because like i'm so leg every time i like i get a subscriber like i'm like oh my gosh someone's actually watching me someone's like nakaabang like to my next videos that's why you know i think i, I don't know i just love you guys and that motivates me. I don't know, I just, I think it's fun to share your life, especially to the people who want to know like more about you. Ah, okay, I got this question from my friend. She says, Watson's Hall, since you're always at Watson's almost every day, haha. <laughs> this is actually true. I actually made friends in Watson's because I'm always there. I live near Watson's, so anything I need, or even if I don't need anything, like I would ask my family, hey, do you guys want me to go to Watson's? I can just run a few things for you if you want. Some of you guys, no, a lot of you guys ask me a lot of personal questions. So I'm going to be answering that on my next vlog. So thank you so much to everyone who sent in all those questions. Anyways, that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. And I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So whenever I do post new content, you will be notified. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Ania Cassandra de Leon, sending you guys all the love in the world.